Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another VPS Avenger quick tip tutorial. Today we're going to learn about drums, drum kits and drum sequences and how to get started. The drum module is over here, the far right tab in the middle window. And if you come down to the browser, we can have a number of drum kits. Now these are drum kits. These are different drum sequences. So if I load a drum kit, like let's say, it's going to load the EDM1 kit. The EDM2 kit is a different set of drum samples. If I come into the drum sequence, this is the sequence that comes loaded with the EDM1 kit. If I come into a different sequence and go to dubstep, for example, it's gonna change the sequence and the drum kit. If I want to keep the EDM drums, but use a different sequence, I can just unlock the connection go to the sequence and then change the sequence. And now I've stayed with my EDM1 drums, but I have the EDM2 drum sequence. Now, in order to get the drums to play, we need to go into the zones tab. And this shows us that anything below a C3 is going to trigger the drum sample. So if I mute our oscillators, and if right now I'm playing a just above a C3. So what I need to do is actually move the range selector all the way over to the right. And now anywhere I play on the keyboard, it's gonna trigger the drum sequence. Now back to switching drum kits. Let's say I really like the bass drum and the rim shot for this particular kit. I can come in and lock those individually and now if I switch to say the EDM2 drum kit the rim shot and bass drum for the EDM1 kit will stay locked and now I have a whole separate set of samples from the EDM2 kit. So that should be enough to get you started working with the drums and the drum kits and sequences. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.